Hello. In uh, this course previously, uh, we covered op amps, uh, specifically with resistive elements only. And then uh, we talk about energy storage elements, uh, namely capacitors and inductors. Now, I would like to give some uh, application examples where we can combine op amps and capacitors for some specific purpose. Okay, so this is an op-amp circuit, but as you can see, we have a capacitor, okay. Normally, we only sold op-amp circuits with uh, resistive elements. Okay, so the goal is trying to figure out uh, a relation between VI and VO, or output voltage, uh, in this uh, uh, circuit frame. Okay, so uh, this is the current of the resistor, and this is the current of the capacitor, and since it's an ideal op-amp, you know that this is ground, this is zero volts, this is zero volts, there is no current here, there is no current here. Okay, so technically this uh, point is zero volts, uh, but uh, the current flow in this direction uh, goes like this. So based on curious of current, though, it's easy to see that IR is equal to IC because there is no current in this direction. Okay, so what is IR? IR is simply equal to VI divided by R, okay, so what is uh, IC? Okay, so we can write IC in terms of the voltage of the capacitor in this direction, okay? So since IC is in this direction, we write the voltage of the capacitor as, okay, like this, this is the plus, this is VC. So VI divided by R is equal to C dVC over dT. Okay, so we don't need VC, we need VO output voltage, okay. So what is VO? VO is equal to, okay, so I'm not sure for that. Okay, so what is VO? VO, as you can see, VO is equal, since this is zero, this is VO minus VC, because this is plus and minus, but this is zero, so technically VO is equal to minus VC. So technically this is equal to VI divided by, is equal to minus C, D, V, O, divided by D, T. Okay, so let's uh, reorganize the uh, equation. D, V, O, divided by D, T is equal to minus 1 over R, C times V, I, and V, I can be a function of T, it can be constant or something else. Okay, so, so derivative of V, O is equal to an expression that depends on V, I, so if we integrate both parts, we can easily see that VO is equal to 0 to T minus 1 over RC, VIT times DT plus initial condition VO0. Okay, so let's look at the uh, clean uh, results. As you can see, output voltage is equal to a constant, which is minus, but not critical. We can always uh, change minus with the uh, inverting amplifier. Uh, but technically, it integrates the input voltage to find the output voltage. So the circuit is an integrator. Okay, good. So uh, we like integrators. Uh, and we already called integrators previously with just NR storage elements without any op -ups. So what is the function of this circuit compared to the previous circuit? Okay, so as we know, the main difference with op -ups, the main uh, like biggest difference of the op -ups is we know that this is minus V, let's say V source, this is plus V source, and output voltage cannot change the maximum and minimum of the op-amp voltage. Okay, so why this is good or bad? Uh, it's technical because it kind of limits your integration. Okay, so integrative circuits, okay, so due to some accumulations, some kind of errors or something else, uh, since it's an integrator, if, for example, give you a constant voltage at the input, and over time, it will go to infinity. It blow your circuit, technically. It will reach unlimited uh, amounts. So what we use practically, for example, in some uh, control circuits, if there's an integrity, we want to have a cap on the integration. Okay, we don't want it to go to infinity or very large numbers. So technically, using an integrator in an open framework is better than just using a, a normal integrator. Okay, now let's uh, solve a different op-amp circuit, okay? So I already uh, derived the equation, so we will quickly go over that. Okay, it's a different circuit. As you can see, the capacitor is now here, okay? So compared to which I just changed the capacitor, okay? This is the capacitor, and this is the inductor. So we will do the same thing. This is zero volts, this is zero volts, this is zero volts, okay? There is no current here, there is no current here. So IC is equal to IR, okay, check, okay? 
So what is IC? IC is equal to CD VC over DT, and this is VC, okay, this is good, which is equal to CD VI over DT, because like VI minus zero is technically VC, it's kind of obvious to see that. It's equal to the current in this direction, which is equal to minus V0 divided by R, so if we reorganize, as you can see, V0 or VOT is equal to minus RC, a constant times dVi over dt. So what is this? It's a differentiator. Okay. So similarly, we previously covered differentiator just using inner storage elements. Okay. So what is the main difference here? It's the same thing. Okay. Because of minus V plus V, okay, this open will have a cap, the threshold, for the upper limit of the output voltage. Okay, so this is even more critical because differentiation is very uh, dangerous uh, operation in physical systems. Because for example, let's assume that this is your uh, VIT normal signal. Okay, something like that. Okay, this is just smooth, nice. If we differentiate, everything's fine. But the problem is, so sometimes you get some noise so and it becomes like this. Okay, and it become continue discontinuous or close discontinuity where your derivative can be super high in a short amount of time. Okay, but it requires your output voltage to go really, really large number of voltages, which can be dangerous for your circuit and your application. By using a differentiator in an open framework, you technically uh, put a safety limit on minimum and maximum uh, voltage such that we, because of these noises and other kind of unwanted like effect that can come uh, out sorry, uh, electrical sources, you kind of uh, make like your life safer uh, using this kind of differentiator in the circuit. Okay, so uh, later we will talk about op amps and uh, inner storage elements in a like richer and deeper framework, but for now, uh, what we kind of showed that we can have an integrator and differentiator circuit using op-amps and NR storage elements, and due to the like uh, maximum minimum limits of the op-amp, like a nonlinear effect, it kind of have a safety factor that we can practically use in electrical circuits.